This is gonna be very, very scandalous. Hey everyone, and welcome back to A Story of Seasons, Tree of Towns. Well, look at this fellow. Oh, kitty, your timing is impeccable. Is it? Let us introduce you, dear. This is our grandson, Yuzuki. Poor thing hasn't been feeling well, so he was off at a medicinal spa until recently. He just came home today, in fact. Hi. Ah, greetings. It's an honor to meet you. My name is Yuzuki. I am a jeweler who specializes in making hair accessories and the like. You are Akita, yes? That's a lovely name. It suits you very well. It's nice to have another person close to my age move in. I do hope we'll be able to become fast friends. A lot of people seem to like Yuzuki. Uh, in the comments, a lot of you guys said that he was very sweet and romantic, so we'll have to see. I have something of a soft spot for sweets, so I'll visit both West Town and Lulucoco on occasion. If you should happen to see me, don't be shy to come and say hello. We have matching ponytails. We're already friends. He said he likes sweets. I really don't know much of what he likes. Or like what I can give him. I guess he's in here. He's a workshop. I guess that's where he makes the jewelry. Hello. Hinata and I have been friends for only a handful of years, but he's already like family to me. He was the first person I felt truly comfortable opening up to, outside of my grandparents. Uh, I don't know. Do you like Hydrania? Eh, seems neutral to it. Hmm. What is an easy thing that I can give him as a gift? As in, like, something I can forage. Okay, so if you remember last time, we have Lulu Coco almost at a D rank. And to break this lock, we need to ship 10 milks and complete some part-time jobs, which is not going to be too difficult. Let's check what we have here. Well, it looks like we have a bunch of woodcutter jobs and some shipping jobs. So we're definitely going to do those because a vegetable and two eggs, very easy. Uh, my cow and my chicken are both producing two byproducts, so we're getting <laughs> that increased slowly. Uh, they can, people have said in the comments that you can get your animals to produce up to 20, which is kind of crazy, but I think it's a good thing because that way you don't need to have like four cows. You can just have one and focus on that one because I will say that was kind of annoying in the other story of seasons where I had to have like multiple of one animal and then had to give them all treats every day and you know it just got to be kind of cumbersome so I think it's better to just have like maybe one or two tops and then just try to increase their byproduct as much as you can so that's what I'm going to be doing anyway so there's some mostly like delivery jobs but we can definitely do the shipping ones and just run home and do that now I'm always afraid that I'm going to be late doing those ones because you have to have the items shipped by uh, 5 o'clock. All right, so we need to ship 10 uh, things of milk. So there's six, and there's the other four, and two eggs, and a vegetable. So I guess I will ship a tomato. I'm going to be saving some of the watermelon. I know that they sell for a little bit more. Uh, I want to save some of them for the fruit fiesta, I think it's called. It's like the fruit festival that is uh, in Lulu Coco, and that is in fall. I want to save watermelon because you get higher friendship points if you give them fruit that you've grown as opposed to like fruit that you just find. So I want to save that. Uh, also, 
We have the Flower Festival coming up here. I think that would be a great opportunity to get some friendship points with people in town. So I need to kind of plan for that. I'm not sure how expensive this is going to be, so I want to kind of check the pricing here. Yes, she can do bouquets now. So how does this work? Oh, they're not that expensive at all. I thought they were going to be like a couple grand each. So that's not too bad. If you give bouquets, you get more friendship points than if you just give them individual flowers. So I'm going to do that for a couple of the villagers to get an even higher friendship. Oh, so I guess now we're actually gonna fix the bridge? Rikita, are you awake yet? Yeah, I am now. Thought you were screaming outside my house. Sorry to disturb you so early in the morning. I just reckon I'd come let you know that with the materials you bought. Well, I pressed the A button, so that's gone. Now all that's left is for the whole town to get together and fix it right up. Yeah, let's... I can... I can do that. Okay, I guess we'll go right now then. I mean, it's not like I have animals who could die without my... my care. That's definitely how you repair a bridge. Just take a hammer to it, throw some wood on it, you know. Wow, that's child labor. Did you see that? They're making the little kids help. Well, look at that. I was gonna say, I didn't think that other bridge had changed. It's <laughs> like, uh, this looks like the same exact bridge. All right, bridge is all fixed. I don't really know what that did. I don't know if like that increases affection or town link rank, I have no idea what that, if that even did anything or if we just have a new bridge now. Everyone in West Town worked together to rebuild the old bridge. It looks super sturdy. Now everyone can cross without any worries. It's not great that we were using that bridge this whole time and we could have, you know, fallen to our death. But it's fixed now. So I guess that's important. All right, what do we got? Oh, yeah. New stuff because of, uh, of uh, Lulu Coco. Which, if we check here, thanks to the shipping that we did, they are now at AD rank. We're getting there with Suyakuza. So I'm going to switch this over to Suyakuza. There we go. Granted, it's not going to take effect till tomorrow, which is, you know, kind of a bummer. But we can go check out the new stuff that Lulu Coco has. Okay, so the Seaside Cafe should have some new recipes that we can buy, I think. Yep. Lawn, lawnton? Fufu. I wish they would give me a description of what, what that is. Tropical fried sweets. Watermelon juice, I can make that. All right, well, I think I'm gonna wait on those just because as much as I want to buy a bunch of recipes, I don't have a lot of money. So it's just gonna have to wait. Although apparently buying recipes does increase your town link rank i think a little bit more than just buying regular items from shops so also eating at the different restaurants also uh increases your town link rank so all right let's just let's see where we are with tools all right we could improve the effectiveness of the watering can uh yeah we can't do the hammer Right, I need two more pearls. I have a ton of GAGs. And need some crystal. Lots of it, actually. Let's go ahead and prove the effectiveness. We are one away from having that completely upgraded, which is awesome. Probably gonna take a little bit, though. But that's all right. Uh, do you have any new clothes? Oh, wow, yes. Whoa. 
That's cool. That, if it didn't have a cow on it. Oh my gosh, that's, oh, I like a lot of these. And the flower clip, wow. 12 plumeria and five yellow quill. Oh my gosh, I can make that. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'll probably like need those plumeria and then I'll be, you know, a couple episodes down the line cursing myself for doing that, but I don't care at the moment. Cause I think it'll look cute. All right. Let's go see Witchy. Hey, Witchy. Wait, can I? I figure I should just show off. Do I just have to give it to her? See, I don't know if, I don't know if that'll count as a present though. If I just give her something, you know what I mean? Cause I wanna, I kinda wanna see like how she can change your face. People in the comments said she could actually make your eyes two different colors, which I thought was pretty interesting. But, um, well, this is a Lulu Coco thing. Would you like this? Okay, yes, change your appearance. All right, let's try it and see what happens. Wow, I can change my skin color? That's actually probably more accurate to my real skin color if I'm honest with myself. But the blush on this just looks so stupidly ridiculous. <laughs> Which I think is why I didn't pick that in the first place. So you can do that. And then I, I guess, I guess you don't get other expressions. I guess you can't unlock them. I don't know, people said you could do one eye one color and one eye the other color. I don't see that option, but if you wanna change your face, you can, or your skin color if you want to. Wow, she's, she. I think she just gave me my, uh, my thing back. Well, sorry, witchy, I didn't really wanna change my appearance. I'd rather have a different cool hairstyle, to be honest. Not have my face restructured. Oh, I didn't look and see if there were... That's not what I wanted. I didn't look and see if there were different farm circles. Tropical water source. Oh, I like that. Ugh, so many bricks. Is there anything else? Oh, here we go. So, looks like we have a lot of, uh, sort of tropical decorations that we could make if we wanted. I mean, it's cool that you have this option, but I just feel like it takes so many materials that could better be used elsewhere that... I don't really see myself making too many of them. Eh, nice to have the option, I guess. Okay, so we made it to the Harvest Festival. This is the second one. But before we work on that, um, I got Suyukuza almost to a D rank. Basically, all I did was keep eating at the restaurant in Suyukuza, which really gave me a boost. And then I just, you know, did the part-time jobs, but that was pretty much what I was focusing on. So now we have a lock on it, so we're gonna take a look at that. You have to do three part-time jobs, which I did yesterday off screen. Very simple to do, and we had to ship some eggs. Ironically, one of the part-time jobs required you to ship five eggs, so I already shipped five. So we're gonna ship another five here in a second uh, before we head off to the Harvest Festival. But first, I need to get my special tomato. It actually has a decent quality. Uh, I mean, I know it's only one and a half stars, but I mean, looking at all the stats, not too bad. So I'm gonna take that out. And I am not 100% sure what 
we're being judged on. Let me check. Oh, that was... Oh, that's a different way of looking at the calendar. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so color and juiciness. So that's what we're looking for here. I think we're good. Before we head out to the Harvest Festival, I want to put on my little flower clip. I think it looks pretty cute. Obviously, I would like to have an outfit that matches it a little bit better, but you know, can't have everything. So, I like it. I'll like it more once we have a more like tropical outfit to go with it. But for now, it looks cute. So we are gonna ship five more eggs to Suyukuza to finish off this lock. I have a lot of tomatoes. Well then. All right. Uh, okay, five more. All right, so that's five more eggs, so that should do it. And then we should, I mean, I'm hoping we get new hairstyles for that, for bumping uh, Suyukuza up to a D rank. We'll have to see. And now we just gotta wait for 10 o'clock. Hey, Stephanie, what's up? You having a good day? Yeah. All right, boom. Veteran class. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I should probably save just in case. All right, let's just quick do a little save here to make sure. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose. All right, veteran class. I mean, I feel pretty good about it. I think we're going to win, but you never know. All right, where's my... There it is. My golden tomato. All right, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we shall now begin the Summer Harvest Festival Veteran Class Competition. Could the contestants please enter? All right, so I wonder if I'm actually gonna be up against people, yeah. Okay, so if you pick the Veteran Class, then you're gonna be up against villagers. So we're gonna be going against Totatara. Didn't really expect her. Um, and some random person who doesn't really exist. <laughs> uh, she, I think she lives in the same inn as uh, Hinata. I don't know if it's considered an inn or an apartment, or but I think she lives in there, the little girl. And then there's me. All right. I hope this is enough. I don't know how difficult it's going to be. I hope I'm not like misjudging it. I don't think it'll be too bad since it's still year one, but we'll have to see. That is, that is some straight up lettuce. Oh my gosh, you, he snubbed her. Did you see that? He snubbed an elder. Oh man, I feel like she's gonna, she's gonna smack him. No, she can't. That little kid cannot beat me. Oh, he seems to like my my golden tomato. It looks like the evaluation is over, which means it's time to move on to the moment everyone's been waiting for. That's right. It's time to announce the winner. And the winner of the Summer Harvest Festival Veteran Class is... Well, it's not Totatara. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, yes. Excellent. All right. Poor, poor Totatara. All right. Piperade? I don't know what that is. It sounds like a knockoff Gatorade.
my tomato brand, my, specifically my tomato brand, not even my vegetable brand. It's kind of annoying, but okay. It kind of works out because I still have a bunch of tomatoes that I can ship, so that'll increase the price of them. So that works out. When I was small, I would watch for when Nana would leave her seat and, and put all my most hated vegetables on, onto Saluka's plate. But Nana would always figure out what happened, get angry, and make me eat them anyway. I was so sure she'd never catch me. How did she know? Huh, I would have done that as well. Strawberries, pineapples, watermelons, melons, they're actually considered vegetables in some cultures. That used to confuse me, but someone taught me just think of anything that comes from the ground as a vegetable. In fact, most people think that pineapples or melons come from trees, but they don't. Congratulations, you really are loved by nature. Have you ever heard the expression, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach? I suppose that means a good method for increasing a man's affection is cooking for him. Now that I think about it, this would apply to some of the women I know just as well. Hmm. Your crops were completely different from everyone else's. Of course you'd win. Congrats for real. Thanks, friends. Crops are not like your children at all. That is not a great analogy. Depending on the type of vegetable's shape or color can be completely different. So how in the heck do you decide a winner or loser, yeah? I wonder if pros are able to see some kind of magic invisible number above the vegetables or something. Who knows? Congrats on winning the veteran class competition. I didn't expect anything less. Seeing you give your all out there makes me want to give my 200% too. If the vegetable is good enough to win the harvest festival, it must have several times more nutrients than the average vegetable. I'd love to see a peer-reviewed study on the matter. Nerd! It's fun raising vegetables of all shapes and colors. After getting healthy, I realized how fun it could be when my family let me help them with their work. But apparently it's hard to develop muscles, so it's probably best that I keep field work to a simple hobby. Aw. What a cutie. Hey, uh, well if it ain't today's shining star, I've been waiting for ya. How about an interview for all your adoring fans? Oh, I'm just messing with ya. Mm-hmm. Did anybody's heart color go up? I don't think- I don't think so. Come on, people! What are you doing, Wayne? Disappointed in you. You too, Ludus. Okay, I was trying to talk to Hector there. He has, like, the craziest hair. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry that you lost, Totatara. He was pretty mean to you. <laughs> oh, Witchy's here now. During the judging, Desi was shining and sparkling next to me the whole time. She sure does love vegetables. Doesn't she, though? I think we did pretty well. I am happy with the results of that. All right, so it looks like we raised Suyakuza's Town Link rank, which is pretty great. I always do that. All right. So Suyakuza and Lulukoko are both at a D rank and West Town is at a C rank. So we should be able to get some new stuff now and see Yakuza hopefully uh whoop. what do we got new oh yeah new uh pets uh Hinata has new stuff Mo has new stuff new hairstyles yep awesome so we definitely have to check that out uh, by the way, I love how he starts all his letters out with, by the way, my favorite football team won the big tournament the other day. Last year they came in second place with some of my friends and I celebrated all night long. It's been such a long time since your mother yelled at me so much. Your father, Daryl. I don't care. Okay? Okay, Dad? Unless you have something good to say to me. 
So I guess we'll just harvest everything since it's the last day of summer and everything's going to wilt and die anyway. All right. So we did, oh, pick this up. Oh, I wanted to, I forgot. I wanted to check on friendships before we head into town because I haven't done that in a while. So let's do that. All right, so Ford is almost at the full five hearts, which is pretty awesome. Wayne is at three and a half. Uh, I have like one or a half with pretty much everyone in West Town at least. Uh, Hinata has one and a half. Uh, Kamari has a half. Mo Moria has a half. I don't know how he does. Maybe because I did part-time jobs for him. I have no idea. Ludus is at three and a half. Uh, Iluka's at two, so Iluka's at one and a half. All right. I mean, that's that's not too bad, actually. Eventually, we're going to have to have everybody, I think, at least four hearts for one of the uh, Town Link ranks. I think that might be A or S rank. I'm not 100% sure which one, but we'll eventually have to work on that. I'm not super worried about it yet because... As we win festivals, people are going to uh, have their affection go up because of that, so I I'm not super focused on it yet. Okay, did, did not want to throw the treat. I really wish that they would do something to kind of fix that, like by putting it on a different button, because so many times I just throw items instead of giving them to someone or, or the animal. It happens all the time. It's just really frustrating. At least they fixed the milk where when you would milk the cow, it, the milk would just fly off into space in the original Story of Seasons. <laughs> so they did fix that, at least. All right, is there anything? Oh, pick that up. Anything else? Gotta make sure to grab the mint because we gotta get uh, Ford up to five hearts. Okay, I think we got everything. I've got some tea growing here, so that's what all this is. So that's gonna grow year round. My wheat finally was done, so I harvested that with my sickle. So I got a little bit of that. I forgot how long that took. That took like a whole month, which was pretty annoying. <laughs> but not much we can do about it. So today is the flower fair, which is a West Town festival. So we need to focus <laughs> on West Town for today because I think this is a great way to uh, get everyone's friendship up. So once I just, my bag is full. Well, that is gonna be a problem. Excuse me for a second. Oh, Ford is gonna give me a flower? I wasn't expecting that, but I guess that makes sense. Accordingly, I've acquired the perfect flower as a gift for you. I hope you'll accept it. Of course, given my job, I often wind up doing more for you than the other way around, but, well, it's the sentiment of the thing. Oh, thank you. I just came in here to give him some chamomile. Uh, if you run out of mint, chamomile is the same in terms of, like, how much he likes the gift, so... So you can give him chamomile instead of mint. If you like. So, uh, I totally was not thinking that people would be giving me flowers today. But we have a bunch to buy from her. So let's see. I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, I have to actually... Wow, that's... That's fun. Didn't realize that I would be having to make these, so I, th mm. I guess, I guess I'll try to, yeah, I don't want to use stuff in storage. I don't want to use all my plumerias either. Okay. So do one of those, we'll just do two of those actually, and some hydrania. All right, so there's one. 
We'll see how many that I can make. I did not want to do that. You got new stuff? Oh, Hilton Daisy Seeds and White Rose. So these are fall. So we need to actually also stock up on fall crops because we are moving into fall already, which is awesome. Uh, but let's see what else we have here. So we could also make this one. Moondrop flowers. I have a ton of those, so I'll probably use those. I don't want to use any of my sunflowers because I need them. I actually think I'm one sunflower short, which is going to be a pain in my butt. All right, so we'll make that. Uh, okay. Let's see. These are yellow and blue flowers. Okay. So I have I have these. So that's not too big of an issue. What is this? The third one that we've made, I think. And what's this last one? Winter, which is white and blue. All right. Well, I can use up these calla lilies. Make another one. I might actually have to, like, grab some flowers around, like, try to forage for them. But we'll see. Moondrop flowers. Or I could just use ones that people give me, I guess. <laughs> Regifting. Alright, so I think we made, like, six of them or something. So I don't need anything. I don't need anything more. Okay. I also think that if you give these bouquets or flowers to people, I think only West Town's people are the ones that care. I think if you were to give one to someone from another town, it wouldn't really matter because this is West Town's festival. At least that's how I understand it. So, oh, I think she has more clothes to look at. Oh, she does, and they are, they are uh, interesting. I feel like uh, the only thing that I might wear would be like that, maybe. Or that. I don't know, West Town's clothes just aren't, aren't too great, <laughs> in my opinion. All right, so we have more seeds now. Onion seeds, which it was too late for me to plant those anyway. That'll be fall. Bell peppers, fall. Um, we also have a sap bucket now. So you can collect syrup by attaching that to a maple tree. I thought there was supposed to be... I thought, I thought you were able to wrap stuff here. That's what I read. Hmm. Was it here or was it somewhere else? Or was it Lisette? Let me just double check. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely thought that you could wrap your flowers with like a special wrapping paper. But... I don't know, maybe somebody down here sells it. There, I think there are new animals, at least. We can at least look at them. Let's see. Or not. Maybe it's just the animal shop in uh, Suyakuza. Nope, nothing new there either. Okay. All right, well, no one here does any sort of wrapping, so... I'm just gonna give the bouquets as is. So we're gonna give one to Wayne for sure. Wayne. Wayne. I'll give him this one. Here you go. Is that a flower for me I see there? Thanks, Kita. I always love getting flowers, but I'm extra happy to get them today. Now it's my turn to give you a token of my thanks. Here, this is from me to you. Thanks. I'm probably going to give that to someone else. Ugh, are you seriously not at a green heart? Even after that, really? Ethan, talk some sense into him. I guess I'll give Ethan like a regular flower. 
I'll give him the one that Wayne gave to me. Shh, don't tell Wayne. I can't, can I not? Can I give it to him this way? No. Okay then. Well, I tried, you guys saw me try. Okay. I guess I'll give a, flow a regular flower to carry then. Or I could try, m I don't know if I have enough to really focus on making more bouquets though. That's for the flower fair, right? <laughs> You sure know how to make a girl blush. It's a wonderful feeling to know you're grateful. Thank you. This was very sweet of you. I'll take good care of it. Now I have a flower for you. I hope you like it. I'm always grateful for everything you do for me and my family. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we definitely want to give a bouquet to Ford. So I'm going to go in here and do that. Ford. Ford. Here you go. Flower for the flower fair, hmm? Who on earth first hit upon the idea of such a festival, I wonder? Ah, uh, but that's irrelevant. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll eat with him, since I'm here already. I guess we'll eat. Even though... Even though his meal kind of sucks. <laughs> Much of my free time I spend on my research, conducting an experiment and writing a report on it will take up most of the day. Though there are occasions when Wayne will invite me to join him at Brad's for a night of entertainment. Um... What does that mean? All right, how many bouquets do I have left? One, two, three, four. I have four left. I think I'll give one to Lisette. And I should give one to Brad. <laughs> Actually, Brad is a fan favorite in the comments. He really is though. You guys really want him to be romanceable. Oh, how pretty! When flowers have been filled with the joy and happiness of the person who gives them, they really glitter. Thank you so much for the wonderful present. You're welcome. I have a flower for you today, too. Here, thank you for all that you do for me. That is a cactus. Pretty sure that was a cactus. <laughs> but thanks. I mean, I guess it counts as a flower, but like, I would expect her, of all people, <laughs> to give, you know, like a rose or something. All right, can I give Brad a bouquet? This is gonna be very, very scandalous. All right, here you go, Brad. Well, see what I mean? Try to give a man a bouquet of flowers and then you just throw them right over his head. Flower fair flower for me. I don't recall doing anything worth one of these. You sure it isn't for someone else? I'll write if you insist. Thanks. You're welcome. Actually, I got a flower I wanted to give you, too. Thanks for everything. Cool, thanks. Scandalous. Scandalous. He's married. Okay. Uh, how many more do I have? Two? Alright. Well, I'll just give Miranda a regular flower. Here you go. A flower fair flower for me? Well, ain't ya, sweetheart? Thank ya. Guess what? I thought I'd get a flower for you too. Hope you like it. Thanks, some hydrania. I think that's what that was. All right, so we got everybody up here, uh, including Ford and Wayne. So... I guess we will head this way. I figured I would give Frank a bouquet, you know, cause he's like my uncle. And I wonder if Desi counts in this? Probably. Here you go. Is that flower fair flower for me? Wow. Uh 
Get one of these from a family member at my age kind of makes me blush. Not that it don't make me happy too. Thanks. No, I ain't turning red. Hush you. I got a flower for you too. I know I say I'm here to help you, but you've been such a big help to me too. Well, I did like fix the bridge for you. So I guess I'll give Desi regular flower and I will give Megan the bouquet because I feel like like she's the elder of the town and she probably doesn't often get bouquets of flowers. So I will give that to her. Here you go, Desi. Is this a flower fair flower? Oh, thank you, yay! Here, this flower is from me to you. Thank you very much for all your help. Let's have an awesome time this coming year. Thanks. Okay. I don't even know where Megan is. Because I don't see her in her house like before. Girl, if you want this bouquet, you better get back to your house. All right, Marco. Here you go, Mr. Pancake. And he gave me one in return. Okay. Why couldn't you have given me your fish? All right, so we'll give these two flowers as well. What did I get so far? A calla lily. One of those. <laughs> cacti. Oh, I got some snowdrops. That's what those are. I'll probably keep one of those because if you get flowers that you haven't unlocked yet, you can put them in the seed maker and grow them. Then here you go. Oh, a flower. Is it for the flower fair? Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, she gave me something. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look at that then too. Oh, this is a flower for the flower fair, right? Thank you. You're welcome. Where's the other... Where's Hector? Is he not in here? Is he ever... Oh, there he is. Is that for me? Oh, the flower fair, thanks. Got a flower for you too, actually. Here. Thank you. I don't know what that is either. A dahlia? And a hibiscus. Cool. Other flowers that I don't have. So that works out. I mean, I don't have the seed maker yet. But eventually, I will. Now, where the crap does Megan go? I swear. She just she just disappears. She has no consideration for me trying to give her things. All right. Well, she is finally back in her house. So I'm going to give her this bouquet. There you go. Do you want to feed me, like, while I'm here? Or not? All right, guys, well, I think I'm going to cut it here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to share support. It really helps me out. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.